Hello, it's Andrea from Coreware. The biggest robotic news right now is about the simple scheme for self-assembling robots. The news article is released by the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and written by Larry Hardesty. The robots are cubes with no moving parts but the cube itself. They're called M-blocks and they climb on top of one another, they roll around and even move while upside down from the top surfaces. There's also a point where these cubes are flying through the air, which is incredibly new to this type of system. And this is a huge deal, not only to the modular robotics community, but in the technology industry, because it's something that has been challenging to do for a long time now, and it's now done. So MIT researchers are now interested in building an army of these cubes. They want about 100 cubes scattered randomly across the floor and for them to be able to recognize and identify one another, combine, and autonomously transform into a chair, a desk, or a ladder on demand, which is absolutely amazing. So here's a clip of John Rominishin. I'm sure I pronounced that wrong, but he is the mastermind behind all of this, and he's speaking about these self-assembling cubes. Up until now, most other modular robotic systems use servos and motors in order to have arms and attachments that move modules into different places. However, we wanted a simpler approach that uses fewer actuators, fewer moving parts, and was easier to implement on a lot of different robots. And so the approach that we chose is to use angular momentum. And essentially what that means is there's a spinning mass that spins inside of the robot. We want the robot to move, it stops that spinning mass, which takes that motion from the mass and applies it to the robot. And a part of this that's, that's unique is that the spinning mass is completely inside the robot, and so the robot doesn't have to be in a certain position in order for the force to be acted upon the robot. And so this allows for a lot more types of motion with only one actuator. A fun fact about all of this is that Ramanishan actually proposed this design to his robotic professor back in 2011 when he was a senior at MIT. And the professor told him that it can't be done. Years later, the same professor showed her colleague, who is a robotic researcher at MIT, a video of the prototype based on Ramanishan's own design in live action. And that colleague repeated her exact same words to her, which is that it can't be done. They were both obviously proved wrong and that it can be in fact done. It shows you the power of technology and that it, even the impossible is possible, especially if you are creative and passionate and determined. Ramanishan is now a research scientist in MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory. Have you ever proved anyone wrong? Leave us a comment. That's all I have for you today. You can Find the article with the full video um, included in the description box. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. Next week I have a couple of announcements for you, so stay tuned for that. Everybody have a great Friday and enjoy your weekend.